Virgo. This is your reading for July 7th through July 11th. This message is for sun, moon, and or rising signs in the sign of Virgo. These messages are general, so take what resonates for you. Leave the rest. If it, if it does not resonate with you, try not to build a story for yourself. If you'd like a personal reading, you can book through my website, which is bethechange333.com, and I will leave a link in the description box. Virgo, what is going on for Virgo? We are reading for the blind spots, maybe possibly something that you are unable to see. A lot, we all have a blind spot in life, in di different aspects of life. Um, a lot of us who are intuitive can actually see other people's blind spots in their life while they can't, and vice versa. We typically don't see our blind spot, it is subconscious, until it releases itself for us to actually see it, typically through cataclysmic events, which we want to um, not have those experiences, Virgo. So uh, hopefully this will be helpful for you to understand a little bit more of your journey. So what are the messages for Virgo? What does Virgo need to be aware of this week? Okay. Wow, Virgo. <laughs> we have new beginnings, memories of love, and spiritual strength. I'm going to get one more, Virgo, before we dive into this a little bit uh, deeper. But it seems as though you are ready for a new beginning. This could be with somebody that um, you had a connection with in the past as memories of love are coming up. Uh, spiritual strength is telling me that you've gone through quite uh, the challenging experience through this um, experience with this person. But there's a desire for a new beginning in this connection. So let's get one more for Virgo before we dive in a little deeper here. What does Virgo need to be aware of? Yeah, the spiritual strength card, you know, we, we gain spiritual strength, inner, inner standing, inner understanding um, of ourselves and of life in general through these painful and exhausting uh, life lessons and challenges, challenging experiences, relationships, a lot of times we get uh, matched up with another so uh, person from our soul tribe, soul family that um, is activating in you certain childhood memories, childhood pain, wounds that need to come up for healing. But let's keep going. All right, thank you. On the floor. This is beautiful so far, Virgo. And the card of hope comes out. So holding hope for a positive and joyful, happy future. Bottom of the deck is the sacral chakra connected with the heart chakra. So Virgo, this is telling me so far that um, you may have some creative blocks uh, having a hard time tapping into your imagination, having a difficult time enjoying tapping into your imagination to create something new. Uh, this blockage typically will come with a deep heartache, heartbreak. Uh, the heart and the sacral can tend to close back down and um, not be operating quite the way it should be. So also with the sacral chakra, you may have a hard time connecting with other humans, other people um, right now, because that is the energy center in the body that is um, helps us with our vitality, but more so our um, 
creative, how we deeply connect, thank you, deeply connect to others, not a surface level, but deep soul connections. I'm going to tap into this a little deeper, Virgo. Let's start with new beginnings for Virgo. And before I forget, because I typically tend to forget, if you like this video so far, please click the like button. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe so that um, more of the messages get out to more and more people who may need to hear them, as well as helping this channel grow so that I can upload new content, uh, more expansive content and go live. Uh, there's a lot of rules here in YouTube and I'm just getting started. So if you could subscribe, it costs nothing to you. Um, and if you really like this video and you want to get the weekly uh, messages for you, click the notification bell and you'll be notified when I upload new content. Okay, enough of that. I forgot to do it in the last couple of videos. So <laughs> new beginnings for Virgo. Thank you. Oh yeah. That's it. I was feeling your heartbreak, Virgo. So a new beginning after a really painful ending. This is your desire. This is the first card out. This is what's on your mind. This is what's in your heart currently, Virgo. And let's go with memories of love. You're ready for a new beginning too. Maybe you weren't ready for a new beginning before. You probably had some experiences and some lessons to really follow through with fully to get a deeper understanding. We are working into um, a new paradigm of relationships with other people where the codependency, the old antiquated paradigm that does not work <laughs> is falling away. And we can connect at a deeper level with a much more understanding, compassion, unconditional love, most relationships I'm witnessing still to this date have a bit of a conditioned love attached to them. Okay, so memories of love for Virgo. Hmm. So when you think back to a very loving moment or multiple loving moments within you something pulls you back it's almost like virgo you you have a hard time staying in the heart you're so attached to the material world you're so attached to possessions um your legacy i'm hearing i maybe virgo you have a uh, built in your mind or built an empire or legacy that you're so attached to. And so the memories of love, they come and they go and you're putting that love more so into the material instead of into your own heart. This could be your lesson. Maybe it's something you haven't quite picked up yet, Virgo. Let's get into spiritual strength. Or maybe this is something you're understanding. This could be an understanding that you're starting to come around to, like instead of giving my heart to another or open, opening my heart to this other person or this connection, I closed it because my heart belongs to my legacy. You're holding on so tightly to it. And four of pentacles can also be of money. Maybe you're holding on tightly to your money, afraid that it will go away or something will happen to it if your heart is open in this connection. Spiritual strength. Okay. Seven of cups, ace of cups. Again, Virgo. So your lesson that spirit wants you to be aware of, gaining spiritual strength, connecting to your spirit, connecting to your higher self and connecting to your very soul. In the past, 
you've had two, uh, you've had options, Virgo, and you, they were confusing. They were very confusing. Really, the only desire you had was to feel overjoyed, your cup overflowing with love and compassion and care. This is complete fulfillment of all areas of life when your cup is running over. However, uh, I'm getting there's there's been some confusion. You've made choices and decisions in the past. And what you didn't recognize there was that you weren't making these choices and decisions from the heart. You may have made these choices and decisions out of obligation, out of fear, out of spite. It could be out of anything, but it was nothing from the heart. That is a big lesson of yours, Virgo. Um, let's go on to hope. That's really the only thing that's real. You may be finding out. The only thing that's really real is the energy of love. Money comes and goes. So do things and possessions. King of Wands with the Hope card. So you are sitting in your throne. You are feeling more confident in yourself and determined to make the right choices this time. Determined to use your intuition. King of Wands is intuitive. Um, he's pretty serious about what he's doing. So you're not messing around here, Virgo, but that is under the hope card. So this hope is building you up to more confidence within yourself. And the bottom of this deck, 10 of swords, yeah. Once you open your heart totally to yourself and to this connection, it, um, really wipes away this painful ending that happened in the past. Uh, you may also have other um, people or things in your life, Virgo, that you may need to painfully end uh, these things that you're holding on to way too tightly. I feel like you know this already, Virgo. Yeah, Six of Pentacles below that, allowing for an equal give and take relationship. Whereas whatever you're in currently or in the past, uh, you may have been giving way too much, not really receiving any. This is like people pleasing, codependency type of behaviors and patterns or vice versa. You may have been way over giving and not receiving anything back. That um, is something you would know, Virgo. Let's get an advice card for you before we wrap this up for Virgo. Advice for Virgo, please. Thank you. And Virgo, you got the card of discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So this is your advice. Get out of the mind, <laughs> get back into your heart and have faith, have trust, have that, hold that hope. You can accomplish what it is that you set your mind to. The thing is you want to set your mind to that and not focus on the fear or on the past pain because that just goes right back into the past. The past is the past. You cannot change that at this point in time, learn from it and move on. Now, because you may be uh, tempted or desiring to have a new beginning with somebody from your past, that will require a little more discipline within yourself to not repeat past patterns, basically. So discipline, staying grounded within yourself, rooted within yourself, and not falling into the entrapment of the mind and the loop, the feedback loops that constantly will play from your subconscious mind, from your past pain. You want to push through that. We are just about to the stratosphere, Virgo. You have to release the rocket boosters so that you can be released fully, meaning release your baggage, release your past pain. So those are the messages for Virgo for this week. Thank you for tuning in. Bye.